Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can create customized icons on your desktop. So you guys can see these folders over here have really simple icons and they're the same for all folders. Okay, so let me just create a new folder. Right, and we're going to be customizing this folder. So let's name it Pictures. Alright, so now this folder, you know, I can I, I want it to have an icon of like a camera or something nice that can distinguish it from the rest of the folders. So one way to do it is you can right click properties and you would go to customize tab on the top and press change icon. Now here you can see are a bunch of icons that are built into windows that they already provide you. So you can just find what you want from here. You know, uh, I believe they do have a camera icon, but you know, this icon is pretty boring. Right, uh, let's select it for now. You can, uh, if it doesn't change automatically, just right click refresh. So you can see this is the icon pictures, kind of boring. We want something cooler, you know, something um, a little more unique and different. So this way we can allow any icon to show up. So we would go to go to your browser and go to a website like Icon Finder or any other website where you find the ICO or pretty much any image you want. Okay, so we'll search camera. I already have it searched here. So I'm going to search camera and, you know, we can choose the Instagram one. I'm not going to choose that. This red one's nice over here, but let's just keep going and seeing if we see something better. Um, let's just go with this red one. Okay, and just remember it does need to be in an ICO format. So you could download P a PNG and then convert it into an ICO. You know, you can just go online PNG to ICO and the, the first website that comes up, you can select that. But we, this already provides the ICO option. So we're going to, oh, you can change. Oh. All right, um, so we're going to just download the ICO. We have it downloaded and let's put this to the side and now let's right click this again properties let's go to customize change the icon now we want to go browse to the location where we downloaded it so mine is in my downloads folder so remember you might want to put it in like another folder you wouldn't want to put it in like a download fo generic folder like downloads where you know you might remove it and then it could corrupt the image or it, it wouldn't corrupt the folder but you know the image could get messed up so let's just go download it all right there it is select apply and okay so there you see it right there it looks a lot better 10 times better than our default um, folder look and over the default icons that windows provides so this is a quick and easy way to do it you know definitely check it out you know if you loved it you can put pretty much any image you want it doesn't you know it can be a png that you convert into an ico and paste it so you can get really customized with this and do it whatever way you like so that's it for today. Quick and easy tutorial. Uh, let me know what you guys thoughts are. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Other than that, peace out.